Okay, chapter three. In chapter three, we are on uh, solving linear systems by graphing. So let's take a look at some examples here. Um, when doing these examples, um, best thing I can tell you to do is uh, solve each of these for y. So to solve this one for y, I would subtract x to both sides, so I get y equals negative x minus four. And let's solve this one for y, so I subtract three x on both sides, so I get negative y equals negative three x plus eight. To get y by itself, I divide each one by negative one, so I get y equals three x minus eight. So here's what that means. That means I need to graph this, and I need to graph this. Well, if you recall, that's your y-intercept, right? And this is your slope, So we just got done talking about. So what does that mean? That means I go down one, two, three, four, and put a point. I go down one, over one, down one, over one, or I do the reverse. Up one, left one, up one, left one, and here, is my line. And I'm putting as many points as possible to try my darndest to connect a straight line, which I still can't do very well. It's supposed to be a straight line. Then the next one I'm supposed to graph here is the next one is y-intercept of negative 8. So two, it's 5, 6, 7 y-intercept of 8. And then up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1, and I draw a line. Wherever the graph intersects is your answer. It intersects right there at 1, 1, 2, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, negative 5, which means your answer for that problem is 1, negative 5. For this one, we um, could try to solve for um, y, uh, but when we do that, uh, you realize if I divide by 4, I'm going to start to get fractions. So we're going to use a different method. I'm going to plug a 0 in for x and get an answer. So if I plug a 0 in for x, basically that's like saying I get this right here. So I divide both sides by 4, and I get negative 1 fourth. Then I plug a 0 in for y. It's like saying I have negative 3x equals negative 1. So I divide both sides by negative 3 and I get 1 third. Well, how does that help me? Here's how it helps me. That means I plot the point right here at 0, negative 1 fourth, and I plot a point at 1 third, 0. And this is my line. I'm trying to, anyway. Do the same thing over here for the next one. I put in a 0 for x. So that is like saying you have 3y equals negative 5. I divide both sides by 3, and I get negative 5 over 3. Then I plug in a 0 for y, and I end up getting, dividing by 2, um, negative 5 over 2. So, um, negative 5 thirds, negative 5 thirds is like negative 1 and 2 thirds. What that means is I go over nothing, I go down negative 1 and 2 thirds, which is about right there. This one is negative 5 over 2, which is 2.5, and 2.5 is roughly right there. So, I draw a line and connect those two points, at least make a valid attempt to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Um, basically, maybe if I switch here so you can see, they cross about right there, which is about going over negative one half and down about one and a half, we'll just say roughly. Now, for right now, yes, we are just guessing. Not a problem, okay? You can just guess for right now because we'll figure out 
how to accurately find an actual answer in the uh, next couple um, problems, uh, or sorry, in the next section. But this one, tell how many solutions there are. Well, very simply put, here's how you can do it. Solve for y. So to do that, I would minus x onto both sides, so I get negative 4y equals negative x plus 2. I would divide by negative 4, which means I divide everything by negative 4. And the top one gives me 1 over 4x, and that reduces to a half. This one right here, I minus 2x. I'm trying to get it by itself, so I get negative 8y equals negative 2x plus 5. Divide by a negative 8, which means I end up getting y equals, that reduces to 1 fourth x, and minus 5 over 8. These lines have the same slope. Do you know what happens when two lines have the same slope? That means that they are parallel. And if two lines are parallel, that means they never touch. And if they never touch, they're never going to cross. And if they never cross, they will have no solution. All right, so parallel lines will be no solution because they'll never cross. Parallel lines will never, never cross. So there will never be a solution. Next problem. Doing this, I would subtract x on both sides. So I get negative 4y equals negative x plus 2. I divide both sides by negative 4. And just like the last problem, I get y equals 1 fourth x minus 1 half. Okay, subtract x on both sides. And when I do so, I end up getting 4y equals negative x plus 2. I divide by 4. And I get y equals negative 1 over 4x plus 1 half. Do they have the same slope? No. Are they the same exact equation? No. Which means they will cross at one point. Which means there is one solution to that problem. You know how you get infinitely many solutions? If it's the same line. If I said, hey, graph this. And then you know what? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to graph this. Hmm, interesting. 2 divided by 2 reduces to 1. 4 divided by 2 reduces to 2. It's the same line. If you're graphing the same line, that's how you know you'll have infinitely many solutions. Okay, that's how you know. Does this work? Here's how you can tell if it works. You plug it in. This is x, this is y. So 2 times 5 plus 6 times negative 2. I get a 10 and a negative 12, which equals negative 2. Guess what? It works for this one, but it has to work for both. If it doesn't work for both, it's not the right answer. So I plug it in here. 5, negative 2. That's 5 and a negative 4, which is a 1. Since it works for both, does it? Is it a solution? Yes, it is a solution. Yes, it is a solution. And to check this out, you just plug it in again. It has to work for both. So 6 and negative 1. That's a 4. That's a negative 6. So it works for the first one. If I plug it in for the second one, that's 2. 2 times negative 1. So I get 2 and a negative 2, which is 0. So no, it does not work, because it doesn't work in the second one. OK, so if you have any other uh, questions or concerns, please let me know. I hope that helped with graphing uh, to find your answers for equations.